a summary video. We're here in Asbury Park, New Jersey. We were called out to look at this firescape and uh, perform a confidence test. At this time, we are not able to pass this firescape uh, confidence test uh, for a couple of reasons. We've got several things here that are going to require the load test or an x-ray, especially a lot of welds here, in order for us to pass um, the confidence. So the authority having jurisdiction is asking for either a load test or other evidence of strength and I can't provide right now other evidence of strength. But I'm going to walk through and tell you all the things that need to be fixed. And there's a couple of options here. Spot repair, the things I'm about to speak about, then load test it, and then we can provide the certification. Or refurbish the entire fire escape, avoid the load test, and there's, your, and there's the certification there. So let's first start. One of the things that they want to do is on this fire escape, they want to extend these rings all the way up and over so that you get up and around. Now this is an existing ladder. This is a ladder that was original to the building. It's still here. And uh, some of these rungs, to me, are kind of already worn. And you can see already some of them start to bend. So uh, one of the things I would also recommend on this, especially on some of these, is to get some reinforcement underneath it. Uh, and a lot of them already pop through. A lot of welds, every one of these welds needs to be low tested or x-rayed, but as soon as they pop a hole, and as you can see, whoever was the welder, very bad, very bad welder. So all these welds are, are what we call uh, suspects. So I want every one of these with a bolt, and then we got to seal it up with silicone so that the, no more penetration gets in here. We need these properly. These are all just tack welded to the grating down here. I need these all bolted so that the, the ladder does not move in any way. And the ladder does not have to be inclined. The ladder can be pretty much straight up, but you know, if you want to bring this ring a little bit further, as long as it's at seven feet, it should be safe for the, the workers to get up to the roof and uh, assess uh, air conditioning units, uh, AC, uh, elevator units, or whatever it may be. All right, let's talk about, in general, this is a, an all welded fire escape. Somebody brought a lot of these components and then just welded all together. The biggest problem is that we're hearing the word weld. All welds must be uh, load tested or x-rayed. So as I go into the welds, to avoid the load test or the x-rays, as soon as I, as soon as I um, put a bolt through a weld, I eliminate the need for x-ray or, or load test. So I got a frame. I want this entire frame bolted. So as soon as you bolt the frame, I don't have to load test it. And you should seal all these welds. After you do this, you got to seal all these welds with silicone so that the water start, stops getting in between two things and creating rust, um, rust jacking. You got um, some through bolt issues that if you come here, You've got holes in the walls from the previous fire escape that they never closed up, so water's getting in. We need to close up these holes in the walls. These, uh, this is a piece of steel jammed into the into the building, and then this welded on it. You, you need a proper clip with an anchor bolt here, so we need to get this. This is unaccepted. This is, and this weld again is also needs to be x-rayed or load tested. But otherwise, you put in a simple clip here, then we can eliminate this as, uh, uh, as a, a suspect connection. Now. Going down the fire escape, okay, and we'll talk. We'll turn around and talk about these through bolts in a minute. But all of this is all welded, so we need to have a proper clip in here. We can put a clip underneath or a clip above a bolt, and a bolt we don't need to have it X-rayed or load tested. This bracket here, which we're going to show in a second, is all welded. So I need a bolt through the triangle. I need a bolt here, a bolt down there, and a bolt in the back over here because it's an all welded triangle. To avoid having to uh, x-ray it or load test it, I need, I need a bolt put in so that we can eliminate the wall welded connection here. Uh, when you're coming through here, you're going to see all the bolts that are through bolted and they're fairly new, probably five, no more than ten years old, every hole is exposed. You can't have, once you come down here, I'll use this one as an example, we got a lot of wall damage, you got to block this up so that water doesn't get in and, and not only cause problems for the building, but also cause problems to any time you get near steel. But here's a problem. I got a through bolt here. There you go. Not to get too close. I got a through bolt here, but I got water getting in through the back. Now, that's gonna compromise this bolt. The fact that I know this is a fairly new through bolt, 
you know, is gonna not, but I need this all sealed. All of them are opened to the weather. That can't happen. With that being the case, this is an all welded connection here. I'm getting water in here and it's getting in behind here and it's compromising my weld. I need a bolt here and I need this all sealed up so water doesn't get in here. This weld is showing uh, penetration of rust in there. I need a bolt through here so I don't have to load test or x-ray. This right here is also showing evidence. I need a bolt through here so that I don't have to x-ray. Going down, all the treads are fairly new treads probably five to ten years old and they're all bolted. The only, op the only issue is that the bolt, the standard size bolt here is three eighths. They have five sixteenths bolts here. So these bolts must be taken out and they gotta put in three eighths because that's the minimum on, on these. These are all five sixteenths or quarter. I think these might even be as low as quarter or five sixteenths, but the minimum on a tread is three eighths. All these welded posts, they're welded. So instead of, uh, instead of having to x-ray or load test, if I draw, put a bolt through here, a 3 8 bolt, then I don't have to do that. I don't have to load test. This part where it rests, it needs to be J-bolted or it needs to be, you always need to have a bolt. You can't have a, a welded connection there. The railings are all good ra railings. They're all popped through channels. So these are what's considered minor structural. But where they end up at the end, I need, because that's all welded, I need a bolt through the post. And this frame needs to be bolted. So all the supports need to be bolted. Okay? So, and again, the Farscape needs a paint job. Going down, this is another welded connection that either is going to be verified through load test or through x-ray. But as soon as you put a clip in here and bolt it here, there's no need here and bolt it. Again, all my triangles are, triangle supports are welded, so as soon as you bolt them, there's no need for a load test. You gotta close up the holes. Look at all these holes back here. Water's getting in there, and it's gonna compromise and, and make these units suspect every five years. Okay. This ladder system, What we recommend on this ladder system is that you can have a, a, a lock mechanism here. And the easiest one to make is a latch where that comes in here and just basically comes in here and stops this from being pulled down and anybody breaking into the building. And you can, it's single action requiring no special knowledge. So as soon as I release it. The other one is a simple chain that hooks here, goes underneath, and comes back on the hook. So if somebody tries to, to bring it down, it won't because the chain, but to release it, you just lift the chain, the chain then dangles right here, and then this thing can be pushed down to the ground, okay? It looks like it's a fairly new cable, but this cable is starting to rust because it was galvanized at one time. So we need to treat this uh, cable, otherwise uh, in five years time, 10 years time, it's gonna need to replace the cable. And it seems like, I don't know if they need something here, but it seems like it, it, it interferes with each other at this time. Then you gotta turn around and you gotta be able to go down the fire escape ladder. And my, my only question on this is this this ladder seems a little a little wobbly. The way that this is gonna get the way that this is gonna get stiffened is by putting either a channel. When you when you weld a channel or bolt a channel to the back of this, it's gonna get more rigidity. She so seems very very wobbly and very rickety, so that's gonna cause a problem with the people that are going down that's not going to feel comfortable or safe. Um, the rest of it needs a full paint job. This fire escape is, uh, is fairly new, so it's not older than 78. I don't think there's any lead on this fire escape. It's all new construction, so uh, APA renovators license is not needed. You do need to have a building permit to do any work on this fire escape. Uh, if you're going to be changing any bolts and do anything, so a permit is going to be required from the city. And um, once the fire escape has been uh, spot repaired, we can load test it. Uh, if it's gonna be fully refurbished, uh, stating all the things that I've done, then there is no load test. The rings are welded as well to the weights. Right, so again, th that's just standard. Uh, you know, Anything that's welded needs to be reinforced with a connection so that it can never fail. And the bolt is pretty much what guarantees a lot of those things. So any questions, fire escape engineers, inspect the summary video,
We got Inspector Valise, Inspector Manessas here. Any questions? 866 649 0333. 866 649 0333.